today, I'm going to talk about a very helpful tool that we can use, the attribute table, and some of the ways that you can utilize it, specifically using it to find certain features based on their attributes. What I'll do for my example is select a large selection of features and look for specific ones using their station numbers. To get us started off, we can use the selection tool and select a wide area of features. Now that we have a lot highlighted, let's navigate over to our attributes pane. Here, as you're probably used to, we have a list of all the features that we've selected separated by their layer. Today, I want to work with the bank layer. Scroll down until we find a feature in the bank layer. Here we are. And then I'm going to right click it before choosing attribute table. Now, this table opens up at the bottom with a list of every single feature in this layer. Obviously, that goes against what we want. However, we have this small little button hiding in the bottom. If you click this, the table will move to only showing you features that you've selected. And hidden, extremely handy tool. Now that we have these selected, we need to find our feature by its station number. Today, I'm looking for an overhead transformer with the station number OJ1244. To make it a little easier, we can right click on the station number and choose to sort by descending or ascending. There we go. Now, let's find it. Here it is. Now that we found it, move your mouse over to the blank area on the left of it and double click. As you can see, it zoomed and panned right towards the feature. You can also right click to zoom, pan, flash. It's got a wide array of handy tools. I can also use this table to easily look at all of the attributes and details for our feature. Global ID, circuit, everything you'd find in the attributes table, and sometimes more. The attributes table is a bit of a hidden gem with some hard to find settings, but it can be a massive help if you know how to use it. 